Welcome back to Dezavi Productions. My name is Dezavi. Today, we're doing part three of how to make a beat inside of Pro Tools. We'll be covering how to make an arrangement, and how to make edits using fades. Because we're going into depth with the extent of this process, we're gonna be doing the effects, mixing and mastering in part four. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification button so you don't miss the video. Without further ado, let's get to it. All right, guys, so in part two, we left off by converting the MIDI into audio. And what we're going to do today is do the arrangement and edits. For starters, I already made a mistake. I made the MIDI clips too short, so now we have short audio clips to work with. So for just this once, I'm going to have to duplicate the audio. So I'm going to select one and hold shift and start selecting the rest of the clips. And using Command D for Mac, I'm going to duplicate twice. I'm going to go to the main counter switch it to minutes and seconds so I see how much time we're working with here. And we're working with two minutes and 12 seconds. So I'm gonna switch this back to bars and beats. And now in between the two clips here for the piano, the bass and the choir, I'm going to have to add a crossfade because otherwise we're gonna get that nasty clipping that we had in part two. So to do that, we're gonna switch the mode to slip, use the smart tool. And if you don't know how to make fades at all, go ahead and check out the video I did on making fades in Pro Tools. So we're gonna go here to the bottom and we're gonna create a small fade, tiny, tiny. We're going to do adjust bounce, tiny, tiny here, bass, and the choir. We're gonna do adjust bounce. And let's go ahead and solo the piano first to make sure there's no clipping there. Perfect, bass. Perfect, choir. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the second duplicate. And we're not doing this to the other clips because they're very percussive, so there's no long length audios that need to be adjusted. Adjust pounds, adjust pounds. You don't need to do a large crossfade. If you do too much of a crossfade, you're actually gonna make your audio cut in and out. So we're gonna zoom back out. So now that we've created these extra duplicates, let's go ahead and get started on the arrangement. Now, when it comes to arrangement, there's absolutely no right or wrong way of doing it. It all depends on how you want your song to be or if you have a client that already has a structure in mind. So what we're going to do today is going to do the intro, hook, verse, hook, outro. It's only gonna be one verse because we only have two minutes to work with here. So let's go ahead and get started. Normally, I'm gonna start by taking out the kick. I'm gonna go back to grid. Go back to grid mode and I'm going to take out the the kick for the first four bars, the snare. I'll leave the hat up until the fourth bar or the, the beginning of the fifth. The crash as well. Take out the bass and have it come in just about right there. So let's say, let's go ahead and listen to this. So we're going to leave this uh, about the hook. So then what we're going to do is we're going to take out the hi-hat for the verse. So we're going to just take this out completely. Um, we're going to take out the crashes in between here. I'm going to make a cut here using Command E and then select and delete this. And then let's go ahead and let's say this is the ending of the verse here for the hook. Go ahead and go with quarter. We'll take out this part just to give us some difference here. And we're gonna go ahead and take out the snare as well. Let's listen to this. I 
actually, we're going to keep part of the hi-hat up until about right there. So I'm not going to edit out any of this of the stuff that I'm doing right now because this is actually the process of arrangement. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything here. I'm actually going to give you guys for what it is if you actually want to learn. So we're going to actually go to here. I'm going to use slip and I'm going to fade that out so we don't have a nasty clip. I'm going to go back to grid mode. So this is the end of the verse going back into the hook. So like I said, this is I'm not going to edit any of this out because this is actually the process of making an arrangement. I don't want to cut anything out because I don't want you to think that everything is is perfect and perfectly timed and and planned out. It's really not. It just really comes down to, you know, just being creative, cut things in. I mean, add things in, cut things out. So let's go ahead and let's listen to the beginning. So like I said, it's the intro. Then it goes into hook, then it's going to go into verse, then it's going to go into hook, and then outro. So that's the hook, and we're going to go into the verse here. So just, so, you know, sometimes it's nice to have a little break in there. So I'm going to use slip mode and I'm going to create a, a fade there. So we don't have a nasty um, exit. There's no pop at the beginning either. So let's go ahead and listen to this. This would be the end of the verse going into the hook.
So you heard that pop right there. We're going to use slip mode and use a fade here at the end. It's little details like that that we have to edit, otherwise it's going to sound nasty. Much better. We'll add a fade in here just in case. Okay, that's a pretty simple arrangement. If we had more audio to work with, then we would have to do some more arrangement. Maybe even some more instruments would be nice, but this is a good place to start if you've never done an arrangement. We'll finish part three here and do the effects mixing and mastering in part four. Thank you for watching. Subscribe so you don't miss part four and I'll see you at the next session.